Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to frame this video since a lot of content will be gone over. Uh, on Friday, September 9th, I had a meeting with Bob Cunha and Mike Hurley of the Manchester Police Department. We initially went over a uh, red tag uh, that Marv received, a uh, warning for tow, as well as a uh, traffic uh, a ticket that Marv received. After that, we went on and uh, touched on the 19 questions that I, uh, solic that I solicited in writing on the, uh, September 2nd. So um, we're going to pretty much go in order, but just, again, wanted to frame this since there's a lot of information that we went over. The meeting in, in total was about an hour long, so obviously I cut a lot of that out, but uh, I tried to keep, didn't, didn't want to take anyone out of context, so I think the uh, flow is uh, pretty quick, but hopefully you'll find it informative. Thanks. And I just came back to Marv, and it looks like we got a love note. I talked to the uh, Ordnance Violations Bureau for this uh, supposed... Uh, bribe. I now have to pay a fifty dollars for having uh, what they claim is a commercial vehicle parked overnight. There's a letter you've been getting in the mail from Warden's Violation saying that, that we have invalidated the ticket, electing not to go forward with it. So your commercial vehicle ticket has been uh, it's not being filed. Acting on that, um, as far as the red tag issue goes, and here it says too, vehicle has been left unattended on the way of right away and therefore for a period of time greater than 24 hours. That says unattended. My vehicle okay, is not, not unattended. The, I'm not going to get into the semantics with you. Well, that's an important point. Well, you of can the, pick it up at the legislature, sir. It, the system kind of works, and, and I think your, your situation illustrates it. You reached out and said, well, wait a minute. You know, you've got some erroneous information. I used the vehicle. It's not abandoned, like all the things that you told me. Um, and so we've, we've taken it off any uh, toll list, so that, that uh, should not be an issue for you. Okay. You would ask specifically for the officer, certain officer's activities, Activity log of Officer Brunini, number 32, for the days of September 1st and 2nd. So, see the text all on here. The one question I do have with the uh, notes that were taken, I mean, it says here, uh, uh, free stater's vehicle. Is that, do you know if that's like the dispatcher's language, or is that communicated by the uh, employee of the Southern New Hampshire Planning? That, I, it's hard for me to say, but I would venture to say that probably... Um, it may very well come from the officer. I can't tell you definitively, but um, that could have very well come from the officer saying that, that that's you know that's who this vehicle belongs to. Can you tell me if uh, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to look at whatever records pertain to my vehicle? If there is, are there comments that associated with my vehicle that denoted as a free stater vehicle? Um, I no, I satisfied the, that request you gave me as far as the. Um, I don't even know if our system does that. I, I I don't know an answer to that. I I, I don't know. I didn't look. Um, I don't know if your vehicle's flagged as a, uh, a free state vehicle or not. I don't know the answer. But is that something you all would potentially do to know? Flag a vehicle. Um, or have certain texts associated with it, such as that? I don't I, I don't know that we flag vehicles. Am, am I correct, Mike? Or yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with I'm not familiar that we flag vehicles. Um, so but per perhaps I was flagged as the owner of the vehicle? Is that... More like I don't see your name in there. Um, okay. I think it's you know again I can only speculate. Um, it may be a situation where the officer was letting someone know in case another officer goes over there to deal with the issue. Um, and again, I'm not I'm not here to initiate a, a confrontation with you by any means. But I mean, some of our experience um, you know have been um, where people confront our officers and. Uh, in, in a verbal manner, and, and, and um, I, I guess the word heckle is the best word I can use. Being frank, I, I think I it, it put it this way: if the officer did put that in there, I don't really have issue with it, and that he's probably trying to prepare another officer. If you're going to come here, just be aware that you might get heckled. You might, you know, so he's not walking into something and okay, you know, I'm going to go take care of this red tag, and it's like it's an abandoned car with a bunch of flat tires. Versus, I go up to go deal with this. I may have a bunch of people coming out challenging me, and, and you know, just kind of preparing them so that he can, you know know what he's walking into. You know, you're wearing the cop block shirt and stuff. I don't know, I can't definitively say what the relationship between the Free State Movement and the cop block movement. I, I mean, I know there's some differences there. Um, and and if, if that's, you know, maybe as people get more educated as the different movements and they don't group everybody into that, that, general, that general category. And, you know, and then you guys have put it right on your, uh, it's been on the, on the web, you know, you know, you guys follow the officers around, uh, you know, um, you know, again, I, being frank with you, I mean, heckling on car stuff, things like that. So I don't really have an issue with him. If, if that even came from him, 
saying, hey, you know, just be aware um, so that you know what you're walking into. I mean, it's just it's just human nature to, to want us uh, okay. to spell officers. Well, I would hope, I mean... I wouldn't make more of it than it is, I can tell right. you that. I mean, I would hope if, if I mean, the, uh, the thoughts, that, the uh, characteristics that may come to mind for free staters would hopefully be some people that are uh, responsible for their actions and not, you know, folks that would cause any issues or harm anybody or harm any property. Yeah. I guess that's my... The no. deep, the, I hope the default, if you know, would be positive and not negative. But again, I would hope that uh, individuals weren't collectivized according to like groups or actions of others. The right to know request. We talked a little bit on the phone about it, um, about the, uh, the the you know, about 19 requests there. Uh, some of them um, um, a little bit expansive. Uh, I, I've met with our council on it, and um, typically I would send this all over for them to, to process as a discovery, which means the is gonna come back to me. But basically, what I'm gonna end up doing is working with them to, I made them aware of what you asked for so that they're not blindsided by anything you have that you get from this request that might show up at trial. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, we're kind of like going more the 91A request, the right to know request. I'm gonna give you everything, which uh, is gonna include one, number one, which is essentially a discovery request. Okay. Um, obviously, You've been very cordial with me, and I've, I, and I've told you, you've already said to me, listen, I understand it's big, you know, uh, and I don't, I don't, that's not cool, but something to that effect, you understood what I was, where I was coming from. So what I'm giving to you in writing is just a notice that I can't get you all what you want within five business days, um, and the statute requires me to put a number on it. I put 30 days. So will this 30 days start from Monday then? Is that what I'd ask 30 additional okay. uh, for Monday. Um, again, my, my goal is to get on this and get it done because as bad as you want this information I want to be done and, and get it to you because uh, I have other uh, things going but um, I, I put that you know I to put a time frame so I put 30 days and uh, I think that's that's reasonable but I, I don't anticipate uh, I, I don't want to paint myself in a corner I'm gonna try my best to get it done your first one um, most of it's gonna be fine the internal memos that's the part where we may have an issue um, Basically, you're probably um, going to have to motion the court on that. The state has a, a grounds to object. So uh, most of that we can do, but uh, that one there, um, as he put it, couldn't fail with enforcement proceedings. The memo issue was, I guess, more like top down, like the chief says, hey, don't arrest people for filming or hey, whatever, like anything that came, I guess, about related to the uh, incident or after effects of the incident, but... I don't know if there's any of that. I'm going to touch on, on, on one memo, though, mm -hmm. um, that I'm going to touch on in a minute um, that came from me, that I have to review it and make sure that everybody upstairs, my chain of command is okay with it being released, but I, I think that might answer your question on that very issue. Okay. And Complaints filed against Sergeant Park Patty and their outcome. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the investigations themselves are, are, are protected. They're, they're even under the right to know they're protected. So the investigations themselves I can't release. However, the citizen complaint control cards, if there are any, and I don't know if there are, um, but if there are any, um, with certain redactions, again, people's phone, personal phone numbers, addresses, things like that. Uh, I guess my question for you on that um, is do you, do you have a time that you're looking at? I mean, for me, as long as it's been employed here at Manch, I'd like to get a hold of, I mean, if there's a pattern, I think that's pretty telling. And I'll do my, uh, I'll, I'll try to run that down. Uh, number three is email account addresses and um, direct phone numbers of all the National PD personnel. I'm assuming you're talking about the office extensions. Um, yes. Okay. Um, I can give you that. That's, that's not an issue. Any of us in this department, especially a sergeant, um, is going to have a massive amount of emails. And a lot of them are going to contain juvenile names. They're going to contain stuff on ongoing investigations. They could pertain to an employee discipline. Um, all kinds of things that we can't release. Um, five, um, phone records. First, I have to check my budget off. I, I believe that they do keep records um, for a certain amount of time. Uh, as far as did, I believe most supervisors do have a department issued phone. Um, do you have a time frame that's the one you're looking at? Uh, I guess I'd say June 4th. Okay, so June 4th on? Mm -hmm. If you're looking for times and, and calls made, you're going to have 
I don't know the report plan. I think you're going to have most of that, but you're probably going to have, you know, I'll have him go through it and redact numbers that he knows, you know, uh, our personal numbers, things like that. And number six, um, lawsuits filed against the city the last five years and their outcome. I think with the right to know, I can't, we can't ask someone to produce something that's not there, but I'm hoping they have it on some, already in some type of document saying these are the outcomes. Um, and the ones that are pending, if you can send me an email and say, these are pending, I can print that and give it to you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, but I can, I can get that stuff for you. Names, badge numbers, and salaries for everybody who works here. Are you looking for a year in 2010 and so far in 2011? I can. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Number eight, previous contact made by, um, arrest made by MPD for tracking a property. Um, charged with, uh, with a charge of a pretty mischief. Um, I don't recall any. The prosecutor I spoke to today couldn't recall any. You might, do you recall anybody arrested for chalking that you can? Chalking our building? No, chalking in general. I can't think of any. Yes. We never had anybody chalk our building before either, but I don't remember anybody getting arrested for chalking in any, in any, um, I, I can't think of any. Not right. to say, I, I don't say, I, I, I remember every case, I don't, but I, I don't, I, right now as I sit here, I can't think of any. And how long have you been working at Manage? 94. Okay.